Hello, Steve here. Welcome to Real Health. Who'd have thought health is about what we're eating? Join me on my quest to disseminate my go-to health regimen, the Health 44, my clumsy branding of eliminating four classes of food, introducing four classes of micronutrients, bingo, bongo, health sorted. So thank you for your interest. Let's do this. Right, here we go. You've clicked on today. Today, natural, what was the title I was going to give this episode? Uh, your convenient labels of what natural is and um, the challenges of that. So, um, I did a quick calculation. There was a prior episode where I mentioned uh, one out of 10,000 people are centenarians. Uh, and then I uh, I tried to calculate one out of 400 were centenarians back in 1900. And, and for somehow I, I got 12 out of, um, it was, wasn't was one out of 10,000, it was 12 out of 10,000, but I did a better calculation, more than three seconds worth, and 25 people in 10,000 uh, were centenarians living 100 years plus 120 years ago. Now, how about that? Even though the average life expectancy was 40, uh, infant mortality rates, easy, an easy fix in how those statistics work. So, in mentioning the 120 years ago thing is, um, we lived, we, we had the jungle closer to our cities. And talking about jungle closer to our cities, um, there you go, more risk. Life had more risk back then, didn't it? Uh, wars, there was a lot more of the population involved in wars back then. High risk activity, you've seen the, <laughs> even the kids on the massive outdoor play gyms that they had back then, uh, you see these kids flipping in the air um, 10 metres up. It was more like three metres up. But anyway, the visions were, whoo. So, um, and I've, I think I've worked out my um, sound issues. Mic, volume. This $30 mic is better than a $200 mic. Uh, how about that? So, yeah, with nature. Nature, nature, nature. Um, what I advocate for here? Oh, vitamins and, and minerals and amino acids and essential fatty acids are natural not in that powder stuff that i take it's not not in that efa pill i take no it's not see you see how uh, convenient it is sometimes for me i could easily say that um those 90 essential declared essential micronutrients it's all part of nature all vertebrates need 90 essential micronutrients but but the 90 essential micronutrients that I take in that supplement form are made in, made in a lab. And um, be careful of the um, other micronutrient um, supplement supplements out there because not all of them are from a good quality lab or developed in a lab and then pumped out in factories, right? Of course, of course. Um, an example of uh, my longevity um, supplements is um, uh, ah yes, um, vitamin vitamin B twelve. Most of the vitamin B twelve supplements have cyanocobalamin um, as the um, the derivative that we that we get our vitamin B twelve. Um, apparently, doc. Doctor? No. Gary Brecker suggested that um, they scoop off the foam off the top of the um, sewage plants, the foam of the human shit, right? And uh, that's how they make the cyanocobalamin to, to equal the um, vitamin B12 in meat, say. Um, in the longevity products, um, it's methylcobalamin, apparently bioavailable, so even though it's not natural to get that natural thing, 
it's better. And another quick example is uh, listeners have heard me about my no oils, not, no oils in a bottle either. Well, you shouldn't even uh, consider um, risk, reward, benefit. Mm. Um, the EFAs in those capsules, that's ran rancid oil in there, apparently, uh, with um, my longevity um, supply. They inject um, hydrolyzed, is, is it forced hydrogen um, into the um, the oil goes into the capsule with forced hydrogen, keeping the oxygen out. It becomes less oxy oxygenated or absence of oxygen in, in the pill. So when, when you do take um, the longevity EFAs, um, it's better. It's not ox um, oxidated, um, which oxidated um, oils lead to the whole um, atherosclerosis um, oils complex where um, trans fats, acrylamides, and um, uh, heterocyclic amines form in, in our circulatory system. Uh, if you take those other uh, EFAs, so that's another natural, that's not natural yet, we benefit. So um, to get shot or stabbed, it's not natural to go into your um, local emergency department, but we're glad they're there. They're going to put um, a drip in, saline solution. They're going to save our life. So don't be too quick to uh, discount um, allopathic medicine. Okay. Um, there's this whole bit about um, allopathic medicine shoot out all the other um, competing medicine um, methodologies, schools, um, pick your adjective, um, and the Rockefellers, there's a whole Rockefeller thing where they chose allopathic medicine because they wanted to use their Petroleum products in those in, in those lotions and potions and pills. I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that because a few thimbles each day to make those um, allopathic medicines. Hmm. Yeah, and um, some of you may may have heard that uh, the whole uh, Spanish flu issue was people taking. Mega doses of aspirin uh, developed in something like 2011 to um, to cure that, but in fact it killed them. Interesting hypothesis theory, I don't know, but when you take ten times, thirty times, hundred times um, the aspirin doses that we that are recommended now. Um, I think it might be a bit of a risk, uh, don't you think? Hmm. So I'm not sure if I'm fully buying into that one. Um, natural, I need to keep it on natural, but uh, a few little anecdotes will creep in. Don't you worry about that. So um, the uh, the supplements that I use are natural, but they're not. Yeah, then there's the people that say, I don't know, um, let's pick on oil, shall we? Hmm. Uh, olive, olive oil, oh, it's natural. Good, it, it, it is natural, but um, as long as you crush it and right there with a, I don't know, an olive crusher or some shite, put it on your salad, consume it at that moment. But when you put it in a bottle, nature, nature, natural, no more, no more. It's gone. It's not natural. Even though you like to say it's natural to make you feel good and uh, 
Ah, the Brian Johnsons um, of the world uh, are in, in a dark bottle. Uh, I'll uh, take, I don't know, a tablespoon each day. It's in a dark bottle. It doesn't ox oxygenate. Uh, ox oxidate. Oxygenate? Oxidate. Um, oxidize. One of those. Oxidize. Uh, no, not good enough. Um, it wasn't under forced hydrogen. It's just poured in there, screwed on. It's still oxidizing. Okay? So that's uh, another uh, fallacy. Maybe I should call this episode um, uh, Natural Fallacies. Natural, convenient natural fallacies? Eh, I don't know. Uh, you'll know <laughs> before I do, yeah? Because I'm recording it. All right. So, um, hmm. Um, sugars. Let's pick on sugars. Oh, honey. Honey is natural. It's nature's sugar. It, it's it's not um, processed and yada yada. Hmm. Where's your convenient processed thing come in? There is processing when you. Um, What's the word? Uh, filter, filter the honey coming out, and then and then you cut it with a bit of water to get more per kilo. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've lost a bit of nature there, but also yes, it's more, still more, uh, it's still fairly natural. Um, but sucrose to the max, and why why shouldn't table sugar be natural? Because it's grown in the dirt. Yes, we crush it and we we put bleach. We, I think that it's bleached um, to get that nice white look about it. I think even the raw sugar is bleached and then coloured back or something to, to make it look natural. It's not natural. And uh, even though it is natural, many will, can say... Yes, it's natural as well. Um, with all that sucrose going in, where more than four or five grams at any one moment, that's all your body can handle, and you're putting uh, two teaspoons in your teas and coffees, and then putting some butter, uh, butter and honey on your toast. Honey over some of your cereals, um, what else, y you get me, okay, so um, it's still a massive sucrose hit, your insulin levels are really spiking, um, even the whole idea of whole wheat, Ooh, whole grains, whole wheat, um, still get your, they, they still register quite high on the GI um, specter. What about that's supposed to mean? Um, sucrose and fructose. Ah, oh, fruit, fruit. Our friend, the fruit. Um, um, fruit in a cup, like fruit in jelly. Nice and healthy. Yeah. Well, that doesn't look too great. Um, nah, g give me a break. Give me a break. Uh, fruit. Yes, fructose. I is it half fructose, half um, uh, sucrose or glucose? It's been a while since I've explored fruit, but um, fructose if not the same as uh, sucrose, glucose uh, in the GI number, I think I've seen some of that is even higher, okay? So if you're conveniently, there's a convenient part I put into the whole natural thing. Um, if you're thinking your fruit is natural and I can indulge 
uh, in my mangoes, bananas, blueberries, uh, um, strawberries. Uh, yeah, berries are going, doing the rounds. And it's a nice excuse, a nice excuse for those, what, paleo people? Beef, beef, beef. There's, there's this um, carnivore crowd, which is beef, butter, bacon, eggs. It's not really carnivore. They call it the BBBE um, diet. Yes, it's a good diet choice, but the, here comes the uh, convenience. If you fry your stuff in, in superheat and you have your meat well done and you have your eggs not runny, no good. You're still going to die at the average age of 78, whatever it is now. Okay. So that part of natural, and we were born to eat um, meat and eggs, bacon, pro highly processed, right? Yeah, yeah, you see? Um, not really natural. To get that nice color, that nice smell and Texture that's shelf ready, you know, nitrates, nitrites. The new carcinogen in town, not really a nat natural. You gotta kill the pig, you cook it on low heat, you eat it. That's the best way to ha have your bacon. But uh, from the butcher, from the shop, no, 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 no. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking out. Uh, some of your, your natural shit. <laughs> um, muffins. Ah, those lovely, healthy. I, I'm sure people don't refer to muffins as healthy, but uh, they're basically cake. And uh, natural uh, butter. You put butter. Butter's the, uh, even healthier than the, the muffin itself. The nice hot muff muffin that you've... Um, just bought from the from your cafe, and uh, I saw saw yesterday some Facebook post. Uh, some cafe was charging a dollar for he like corkage uh, in in a restaurant, uh, a buck for heating your muffin. Ooh, the uproar! Never mind the six or ten bucks that you paid for the bloody muffin. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, and uh, coffee. Ah, coffee, nice and natural. Well, um, prior couple of episodes, I would have mentioned um, I've gone the decaf organic. You could say that organic is more natural than the uh, normal stuff because the normal stuff you could say is more processed. Where oh, uh, I'm going to scrub that, aren't I? Yes, I am. Uh, where the normal coffee is um, uh, mold has a mold risk, uh, hot climate, cool at night, moisture, mold, yeah, and so uh, coffee and tea, it's not that natural if you buy it from the store, yeah, you get me? Hmm, hmm, um, how convenient, but, but it's, 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 it's growing in Ceylon tea, um, what's that, Dilma? Um, uh, since the 18th century, I think, certainly the 19th century, where the English really adopted that uh, their tea culture, um, it's not re really that natural. Um, but um, my, at least my organic uh, decaf has got rid of the uh, the calf part where. It leaches a lot of your minerals, so maybe I've improved my mineral retention from my longevity products. Yeah, maybe, yes, I am still epistemically humble amongst the. You should do this. You should do what I'm doing. I am open to improving and to be wrong. I am happy to be wrong and then improve, because the steps I've taken in the whole health forty four have improved my health out of sight. Uh, my physique, health, looks, um, mood, energy, mental health. I'm not addicted to smoking or drinking, 
or overeating anymore. Prior episode um, explaining pica. Um, well, I've littered pica throughout my episodes, but uh, yeah. Um, so you see what I'm getting at. Uh, whatever, whatever you think is natural uh, is nice and convenient to. Uh, if, if you're if you're a carnival, oh, it's natural. Humans, we got here by being carnivores. Um, even though we're um, more accurate, uh, opportunistic omnivores. Uh, vegan wise, hmm, veganism has been uh, attempted m many times, many societies in in history. Um, they always somehow got back to um, eating meat or animal products. Sometimes human products, if you know what I mean. Let me tell you, um, human products, uh, otherwise known as what I'm trying to say here, cannibalism. You will find that in your anthropology, um, uh, what's the other... Um, Evolutionary psychology, evolutionary biology. Um, there, there was a case to be vegan uh, and whatnot. And there's a few times throughout our history and, and our anthropology studies where we ended up um, cannibalizing ourselves because of one thing pica. I mentioned in many, many episodes, but um, uh, where cannibalism was rife or practiced, the, uh, there was no more animals in that whole region. They tried to keep their calories and their nutrients up with um, their... Uh, what's the word? Um, hunting, uh, gathering, right? Their gathering practice, and even after when we started to uh, to grow our food, um, there was domesticating our animals, and then we domesticated our plants, our crops, right? Rather than going to gather, we that's also um, Domesticating uh, for our vegan friends, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's possible that when there's no more animals in a region, humans then thought up of these rituals, gods, and we started to ch chop up humans and to eat them in more ritualistic ways, like. I think with the Aztecs, uh, was it the Aztecs where, yeah, there was pyramids involved where this um, ritual to the gods, sacrificing, yada, yada, whatever, um, used to push people off and they'd tumble down to the bottom. Um, there was some reason for that, but um, the real reason was to perhaps tenderize, tenderize the meat. And uh, poor young children were the equivalent of lamb, right? Also sacrificed for the gods. So um, how about that for nature at your convenience? Because what I'm trying to get at there is um, not enough nutrients. We're satiating our physiolog ph physiology. And we thought up of practices to get meat somehow. What a convenient way with the people that are just living with you. Punish them, eat them. That was a way to uh, get some of the micronutrients and the uh, macros as well uh, by why not just eat the people? Some will poo-poo what I'm trying to say here. 
but um, do your own investigations and you might find that um, there was no animals around in those uh, cannib cannib cannibalism um, societies. Right? Anyway, yeah. Uh, I did want to go down that route, geez. Anyway, so are you getting my drift? How convenient is your natural natural choice? If you're a carnival and you get your twenty dollar meat from the supermarket, I, I'm in the last year I've um, increased my meat intake to um, what's that average say? Half to uh, two thirds of a pound each day um, of steak, ground beef type. Probably, I don't know, four times ground beef, one time steak, that sort of thing. Um, and uh, I think I've benefited um, for the regulars. Uh, if you remember my last episode where I'm experimenting uh, for you to be even better. Um, I, I'm attempting to ha have more meat and I feel that I have uh, benefited. Uh, probably getting a bit more of the natural micros into me. Um, what other convenient natural thing can I pick on for your convenience to poo-poo it? For my convenience, woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am cheeky. Um, I think you got the drift, and I've covered a few things. Um, yes, we are omnivores for those vegan and carnivore and paleo and um, intermittent fasting, keto, the OMAD people. And they're also picking. For their convenience, I've picked for my convenience. Oh, the reason why my Health 44 graduated from the Keto 44, and before that the 44 with a twist of dairy and egg, is because I was partial to dairy and egg. Oh, wait a minute, that's keto. And uh, even though I had a little bit of meat in there in the keto uh, time. Uh -huh. So, and I can't um, end this without a quick spiel about the keto, uh, Freudian, the health 44. The first four, the 44 is to eliminate, yes, eliminate 90, 90 95 percent of the supermarket, which is all your glutens, wheat, barley, rye, oats, buckwheat, out, oils. I'll include the nuances at this time. No fried Fried food, burnt animal fat, or oils in a bottle. Remember the oils in a bottle part? Yeah, yeah. No sugars. Even cutting down drastically on your fruit. I should have probably um, mentioned a bit more of the uh, benefits and risk of uh, increased fruit intake, but I think you got the drift. Um, and the fourth category to eliminate is your nitrates. Nitrites, bacon, I mentioned. Um, and your processed meats, basically corned beef, pastrami, ham, spam. There, um, I made. I've made some salami in recent times. Um, I've just consumed the batch that I made probably a couple of months ago, and um, made at home. I've investigated. Do nitrates and nitrites form naturally? AI says yes, but also. Mm, in the manufacturing process, that's where they cure the meats by nitrates, nitrites, and I couldn't get a straight answer there. So I may have inadvertently consumed a bit of nitrates, nitrites uh, forming naturally um, with my homemade stuff, which was yeah, not too bad. Not 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 like a pepperoni stick, or you know, not that good. But it was all right. It was all right. So and, and I didn't have the color. Didn't have the color and the texture. That um, you know the good stuff um, uh, would have from the supermarket, especially if you get it from Italy and that sort of thing. I'm not sure that's more natural how they do it, but um, I'm not sure how nitrates nitrates form 
in that case. But um, I'm not going to make it again because I'm not sure. And this is all about improving even more. And I don't want to inadvertently increase my carcinogen of the nitrous nitrites, right? So, yeah. So um, that's the four categories of food that we need to eliminate. And then add those four micronutrient categories. 90 declared essential micronutrients, 60 of those are minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, 2 essential fatty acids. In a short time, 3 months plus, your health will drastically improve and whatever condition you have will either be gone or going or lessened. Um, the gone part, depending what age you're at, might take a year or two to exit your physiology, but um, 600, 800 different diseases, because let's face it, many diseases happen in different parts of the body, but it's the same, it's the same micronutrient deficiency. Yeah, yeah. So there was my attempt to suggest to you that um, there is natural, but it's not really natural. Let's be honest with our souls. I encourage epistemic humility. And um, I was just going to add, yeah, um, there's the natural people that um, eating clean, yeah, there's that crowd, whole foods, and then they uh, use soap. I haven't used soap in something like six years. I'm all right. My skin's all right. I don't think I stink. I haven't had whoa reactions or anything. It could be um, if I've been working in the field or whatever. But um, well, that, those exposure to toxins and uh, phthalates, is it phthalates um, in the soaps? Uh, brushing your teeth. Remember... Last couple of episodes, I haven't brushed my teeth in two and a half years as um, testing out the whole natural um, natural bacteria in your, in your teeth. Don't brush off the enamel, all that sort of thought. Yeah, so I'm testing that out. Yeah, so um, brushing your teeth and so and using soap that's not that natural, but but, but it's just convenient not to not to mention that. Um, those natural people, uh, oh, how about natural soaps? What natural soaps? We don't even understand how soaps work on us. Just the idea of not smelling doesn't mean that it's healthy. And if you, um, natural soap, oh, it's made from stuff if I know, uh, not uh, goat's milk, uh, honey. Um, honey wax? Or did they make soap from honey wax anyway? For the natural crowd. Then you get the... Uh, yeah, natural soap. Anyway, you got the picture? How convenient. You call certain things natural, but it's not really natural. So uh, I'll end it there. Thanks for your interest once again. And um, I've been told to not, not say those ghastly things um my, my recent uh, attempts at doing a disclosure state, statement and basically doing a um, so i'll refrain from too many obscenities anymore um i shouldn't i shouldn't care but um for sensitive ears uh, it, yeah okay fair enough oh, i do get it this is for a wider a audience so uh, until the next time happy health because I'm healthy, what I'm doing with the whole Health 44, and I want the whole world to benefit. Even if I don't get, get a cracker or any notoriety or whatever, I'll still be here, hopefully at 103, I'll still be saying, I told you guys, and then some, some schmuck will pay me a million bucks to, to save, their, save their health, whatever, and um, um, maybe uh, a 50-year wait will be rewarded. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, that's it for now. Until the next time, bye-bye.